Oh, what's going on, everybody here, and a welcome to Terra Tech Worlds. I am beyond excited for this. I absolutely love Terra Tech, and now we have Terra Tech Worlds, a whole new game, a whole new thing, but with like what we know and love. You know what I mean? It's from what it looks like, anyways. I'm excited. We're hopping in. I don't even care. Um, so there's a tutorial. Ah, do I want to play the tutorial? I probably should. But we're gonna just hop into a new game and we're just gonna go for it because like i mean it's been a long time since i played terror tech but like i feel like i have a general understanding of the game um oh my gosh okay so here's our oh it looks so good and before we get going any further we gotta give a huge shout out to factor for sponsoring this video have you ever been busy doing something you love and then all of a sudden hunger strikes and you wish that you had a delicious meal ready to go super quick well that's where factor comes in factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less even faster than ordering your favorite place meal plans offer a variety with a weekly rotating menu of 34 plus meal options and 36 plus add-ons like smoothies keto shakes desserts and more and like i said Factory meals arrive pre-prepared, so there's no prep, no mess. You can get back to doing what you love in a matter of minutes. Get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors every order while you're an active subscriber. Click, click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. And did I mention that Factor has meal preferences like keto, calorie smart, and vegan, and vegetarian, and more than 27 plus meal options for each week? There's something for everyone. So again, get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors every order while you're active as a subscriber, and click the link to the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thanks again, Factor, for sponsoring us. Let's get back to it oh my gosh it looks so good okay so here's our little tech now i don't know so oh there's like okay hold on a second we have a little laser gun okay that's sick so here's our little tech it looks like it's still like the little block building thing looks like we have some nice new blocks Ooh, everything looks good um i don't know what this is running in so um i can't tell you for sure oh my gosh this has like tank turning <gasps> that's super cool i mean they might have always had that i don't know it's been so long oh we have a little compass on the top oh my gosh this is so cool so we're back we're playing well we're back we're playing terror tech worlds for the first time if you guys are interested i'll have a link down below um i believe this is a play test so anyways oh let's get into this let's just let's go out and explore let's do the things okay hold on actually you know what i probably should um let's see let's get into the tab okay so text menu oh we have a cargo now okay so that's actually really cool because before we didn't have any kind of cargo from the beginning of the game we had eventually you unlock the sku which was a um uh you know an in it, like unlimited storage module kind of thing um that's kind of cool raise and lower the tech <gasps> oh so is this like our build okay so hold on if i grab this oh my gosh okay hold on put that back on there <laughs> um this is amazing. Okay, what are we on here? Uh, a vendor, a mini weapon, react. Oh, reactor load five. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have ammo now. Okay, so we have, and then a tech tech yard, a ramp. Uh, we have that. Okay, so what is this? What do we got over here? We've got tech reactor, um, recharge 200 per second, 35 out of 100. Does that mean that's what our usage is? So if I grab this guy and throw it on here, okay so is a gun that needs ammunition press that to fire it okay so it looks like there's energy type weapons and then there's ammo type weapons okay got it so is this is this our reactor right here my guess is that's probably our reactor okay wait is the reactor the the cab i don't know anyways i'm excited i'm excited let's let's just get into this <gasps> oh this is cool this is so cool the environment looks cool okay hold on what yeah you know, you know what we got to figure out the water situation here okay i'm gonna say that we probably can't we probably need to be build some kind of like boat mechanic or something like that in order to get into there um okay so now what do we how do we get oh there's mud oh <gasps> that's a mud pit this is mud look at that oh it's so cool oh god it's so sticky it's so sticky and nasty okay so uh coop cup right coop right okay so oh that's copper oh it just goes into our inventory debris and cop oh that's so cool it just sucks it up automatically all right i gotta say i like that and you know what actually i really like that um and the reason i really like that is because i love terra tech like terra tech was it was so fun it was it was such a good time however the issue was when you got like base building and stuff like that and if you got like into big factories having all these little pieces of stuff moving around because everything was like physically in the world oh no 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 i bumped the wrong direction um having everything in the world it would it would start lagging your base out pretty bad you know what i mean so yeah the fact that these are not 
in the world is super cool. Okay. Um, I will say, you know what? Let me go into settings real quick. Okay. So I, I will say personally, I'm not a fan of the, um, I'm not a fan of the fog. I kind of wish I kind of, I kind of hope that becomes an option where you can turn the fog off. <gasps> There's something over here. <gasps> oh, we got text. Oh my gosh. We got text. Oh my gosh. This is our first fight. First fight, first fight, baby. Oh, and I'm stuck in the mud, so are they. Okay, he's down, he's down. I don't wanna destroy that. Oh no, oh no, he's not down though. Okay, let's get the cab. Okay, the goal is to get the cab. Oh, we have little teeny tiny weapons right now. It's adorable. Yeah, that guy's gone. Let's get over here. <gasps> I love the fact that we can like aim specifically at stuff <gasps> and then we pick up their weapons and stuff we pick up their ammo oh this is so I mean, like i don't know what i was expecting of course i mean of course it's terror tech like what, what like obviously we're gonna pick up all their parts and stuff oh my gosh okay so what did we get what do we got here we got um a small axle a uh, resource laser so i'm gonna say that our power we ran out of power um okay so let's see what is this a three-way side connector we got light ammo 56 we picked up some more light ammo but it looks like we use quite a bit. Um, basic weapon mount. Okay. Um, basic wheel, basic wheel, three side connector. Okay. We also have this, a tech yard. Um, it's super rare. How big is it? Oh, it is pretty big. Okay, let's put it back in here. Um, and then that's the other thing too, is that it looks like we now have dedicated base building pieces and like base building is gonna be like a major thing in this game okay all right let's go see if we can um oh look at that place your tech yard i haven't been following this at all i'm sorry i'm just like a kid in a candy shop here i'm too excited for all of the things uh defeat enemy techs completed let's get out of this mud i'm sure the mud probably won't be an issue later on once we have like bigger tires and stuff <gasps> is that what is that oh is that a station is that a trading a trade post or something or is that a flower oh there's a tech over there I don't know that I'm ready for another, uh, I don't know if I'm ready for another attack right now, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of wish I could get rid of some of this fog. I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but, um, oh, there's another, there's another tech right there. Uh, how much inventory space? I don't have a lot of inventory space. Okay. All right, let's not go after any techs right now. Let's see, let's, let's try to find a good spot to place, um, to place our, our little piece down and see what's going to happen here. I mean, if we had to defend it, like that would be a good, that peninsula would actually be a probably pretty good spot, but we're surrounded by water, which means we can't really go out and explore in every direction. Uh oh, we got another guy over here. I'm actually curious about the water. There's a lot of water here. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Somebody's shooting over here. Oh, he's shooting at me. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hit him with the laser. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm getting into a bad area, apparently. That tech is a lot bigger than me, too. Maybe I'll start fighting that tech. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a lot of mud here. Avoid the mud. Oh, there's another tech. Oh, that guy's got like a rapid fire cannon. Oh, we have a map. Oh, that is sick. That's cool. Okay. I'm trying to find a good place for our, our, our building here. I was kind of hoping to see if we could find like a plains or something area that might be like a little bit more, um, <laughs> a little bit more friendly. I don't want to build anything right here on the beach, but at the same time, I might not have a choice. Oh gosh. I mean, that rifle would be nice. Okay, this guy's gonna fight us. We're gonna have to fight. Come on. Oh God, are we out of ammo? <gasps> I lost a wheel. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. Hold on. Uh, I might be able to make this happen. Oh, we have the stuff to rebuild our tech. I want that gun. We're gonna slowly try to snipe the cab. Oh, come on, that piece is gonna break off. Hey, he doesn't have a gun now. But guess what? I do. <laughs> it is mine now. Let me have my wheel back, please. Thank you. Um, actually, you know what? I could I could really use some of your parts. So can I can I have some of your parts? Do does the does the does this weapon not do any damage? Oh no, it does. Oh, it absolutely does. Okay, I'll take all of those now. <gasps> Ooh, one of them's a bigger tire. Um, hold on. Let's get rid of let's get rid of the stone. I want this. That's a big wheel. Hold on, it requires four spaces. There we go. Okay, we're good. 
All right, we got a big wheel. We got one big wheel. <laughs> uh, where uh, did that guy have four big wheels on him? No. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gone. <laughs> And I have nothing now. Oh, okay. We got to get my crate. Oh, wow. We're way back here. I hit respawn and I, I meant to hit rebuild. Oh, no. <laughs> I made a mistake. At least it shows on the map where um, where your stuff's at. That's actually really cool. <gasps> what is that? Oh, there's like a whole little base here. Oh, I guess. Guess what? I think we found our uh, I, think, I think we found our base of operations here. See, there's some base building components. Oh, that looks so cool yeah oh oh it's right next to all the mud i can't get up there though you know what does the whole um if i do this and do this does the whole thing oh guess what we can still do that and ah, ha, ha, i'm on here uh this is really neat see these are the base building pieces and they look super cool all right we i gotta get my stuff though oh gosh man i must have been a ways away okay there's my there's my stuff and then there's that tech that shot us so Let's see if we can grab it and go. Eat, interact, take all. Fantastic. Let's roll. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm leaving. What if we can find another base place? Okay, I think we might just we might, we might just head back to that one that I found. Even though it's like it's come covered in or like surrounded in mud. That's all right. We might be able to use that to our advantage when uh, fighting. Okay, so here's the little base place. Let's go ahead and let's take, let's see where is going to be. Okay, we need to make sure we enter from like one side here so we know where to get in at. Oh, there's like ramps right there in the mud. Let's get rid of this boulder. Oh no, I ran out of power. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> All right, so that's gone. Oh wow, that left like a giant hole. Okay, is there any way for me to get these pieces and like, how do I? Okay, so if I go into, if I go into this, can I claim? <gasps> I can move these. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, can we move these like, see, there's that one. Here's this one. All right, so those two are right next to each other. Can I use those to get up on here now? <laughs> this base is kind of hard to get up here with these little tiny wheels. Hut? Oh, come on. You know what? I might just move this base. Hold on. Like if I just take this and we just move it over here like that, I might actually be able to get up on that now. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> How the heck am I supposed to get up on these? I mean, I guess I have this little ramp. But what's that ramp going to do? Oh, I have two of them. Okay, so I guess that will work. And then here, we'll throw a tech yard on here. We'll see what that does. Okay. So this will allow me to get up here. And then what is this? Claim. Tab to interact. Oh. Oh, that's where I build. Gotcha. And then new tech, respawn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. So in all actuality, we probably... Hold on. Can we Can we move this? Um, no, I want to, let's see, let me get out of here. Whoop. Can I move this down? Yeah. See if we, okay, hold on. Let's do this. Let's place that there. We're going to get all these pieces placed here. Base building doesn't seem too bad. Um, uh, as long as you just remember these little nubs are where everything like locks in at, you know, uh, not terrible. I think these were kind of like acting as like pseudo walls. Oh, those are lights. Yeah. These, I think these are acting like walls kind of, I don't know what this is. So we'll bring that in here. We've got a we got a boulder protecting us on one side. What is this? Another one of those? Oh, actually, we could get on and off right there. Easy too. Um, I think there was another. I thought there was another light. Yeah. I know that's not. What is that? We're just gonna throw everything over here. We'll we'll reorganize it later. Okay. So we have our base now. What can what what can we actually do here? Um, I I think this is our respawn point now. I'm gonna guess it's probably a respawn point. Now, let's see. Um, oh, you know what? It looks like, wait, narrow cap. Why do I look like I have more inventory space now? I definitely feel like I do. So if I go into here, block catalog, tech cargo. What is this thing? D-A-I-S. Static light. Oh, that's a lightning rod. A light pole. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I have two of these things. They look, I thought they were some kind of like storage module. Um, let me see. Oh, darn it. Let's see. It doesn't really say what it is. And maybe uh, later it'll become apparent. Okay. Now, do we have any crafting or any type? Cab craft. Oh, cab workbench. One carbon generator, a workbench, a platform, a tech yard. So a workbench, tech snapshots, weapon and equipment. Oh, and you can. Okay. So here's how you, uh, how you put everything on. Like, you know, um, 
key bind it, all that stuff. Objectives, build basic base. Let's see, the job, collect iron. Okay, I guess let's go collect some iron, which, some hematite, which is probably this stuff right here, to be honest. Actually, do I have another laser? I do. I don't have any ammo left, so I'm thinking maybe we put this guy into storage and grab our another, uh, grab another laser. Because we don't have, yeah, we don't have any ammo, so. Yeah, this is hematite, so that's good. Uh-oh, we're about to have a fight. Let's go, bud. Oh, what the heck? He died immediately. I guess they just touch your base and they're gone. Oh, we got three big wheels. Oh, we only need one more. We definitely need more power. Uh, I need to figure out what the reactor stuff is. I'm gonna guess it's probably the cab is essentially the reactor. Oh my gosh. You have enough resources to build your first structure. Enter build beam and then switch to crafting to build. Okay, hold on. So let's go back up here. I don't think the game was counting on us finding a base place <laughs> already. Like this is my base place. Okay, come on, let me out of here. <laughs> All right, so tab and then open cab crafting tech snapshots inventory. Press tab, enter build mode, and then select cab crafting. Top menu to access your personal crafting menu. Okay. Craft a platform, a two by two platform. Okay, so cab crafting, it wants me to do a two by two platform. Oh, oh, interesting. This is, this is, this one's significantly different than Okay, we'll place it there. Now what? Craft a workbench. Okay, uh, workbench. Oh, you know what? I bet, oh, okay, okay. This is what, I, this is my thinking. These panels, these these like flat looking ones, I bet you these are more of a road type panel um, and not a, not like a base panel. You know what I mean? Because they don't have like very hard, they don't have hardly any things on them. It looks like these are made for like, you know, just being a, like, well, I mean this, I don't know, it worked. <laughs> craft a carbon generator hit the workshop requires power to use a carbon generator can supply power by um burning carbon okay so now we're gonna get a carbon generator so we'll get that guy going i'm gonna guess that we're gonna place that somewhere next to it oh you know what this could actually probably be placed let's see can i place it right here no no wrong we'll place that there let's move um let's move that guy out of the way let's put this down here i'm sorry it doesn't look very good right now Craft a supply fabricator at the workbench. So I need to interact with this. So we need carbon for this. And then I need to go in here and craft a carbon. What did it say? Did it say carbon generator? Craft a supply fabricator. Platform, 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 platform. Launch pad refinery, fragmenter, supply fabricator. Oh, I need more carbon. Okay, so can we turn this off, power off? And we need carbon, which is actually just from the plants. So that's super easy. I think I just have to run them over. Yeah, I just run him over and I'm good. You know what? We should take out that tech over there. Or we should get him to come over here and hit our base. <laughs> where where are you at? Do you have big wheels on you? Looks like he has big wheels on him. Looks like he's got a lot of stuff on him though. Let's do it. Do we make him mad? No, still not mad. Oh, snap. Okay, we're gonna make him come over here and hit this. I don't know how the other one died, but I'm hoping that if he touches the base, they die. Ooh, I don't know what those are. Oh shoot, I'm stuck in the mud. Oh my gosh, those do a lot of damage. Ow. Uh-oh, I'm about to fall apart. Okay, hit my base. Come over here and hit the base. Oh, he's not dying. Maybe I can hide behind this. How much ammo do you have? Oh my gosh. If I can just disable him. Okay, one wheel's gone. Man, that weapon is is nasty. Ooh. I don't wanna die. <gasps> oh! Wow. Well, he did it to himself and I didn't even get the weapon, darn it. But I got one more wheel. Well, that's unfortunate. That plasma ball thing looked super cool. All right, let's turn this thing back on. On, interact, and then we should be able to make a supply fabricator. Okay, so we got something here. Progress. Oh, I probably have to turn this on too, huh? Uh, toggle on. Restore power grid. Oh, toggle off. Place that there. Probably should... See, this constantly uses power, so probably have that off. And, okay, what else we got? Uh, let's see. Craft a supply fabricator. 
Craft a light ammo. Use the lights. For, okay, so that's how we get our ammo. Okay, cool. This light is in the way. There, maybe right there will be okay. So interact with this. Light ammo requires three copper. Heavy ammo requires three co Oh, it's three copper? Oh, for only ten, though. Missile ammo, grenade ammo, plasma. Oh, I wonder if that was plasma that he was shooting. That's cool. Okay, hold on. Before we do this, let's, let's, should, we, should we try to build up our, our tech here? Oh, actually, if anything, we need to build it on that, um, on this guy. Okay, so if I want to throw on these wheels, so if I take this off, take off our wheels. Oh, I like how the things just hover there instead of falling on the ground immediately. It's actually really nice. All right, so I want these guys like that. And I feel like I, I feel like I want our, our, our thing a little bit longer here. So let's see, this is probably our reactor. Let's go with, what is this? I guess that'll work. No, it won't, not really. Well, unless we hook this on back here. Uh, let's see, we hook it on like that. Then we hook these like that. Oh, look at that. It kind of makes it a little bit wider on the back too. Interesting. I like it. <laughs> uh, okay, then what else do we have here as far as like blocks go? Basic weapon mount. Reactor load is five. Reactor efficiency. Efficiency applies to directly connected weapon. Oh, so putting your weapon on a weapon mount makes it more efficient, huh? Why can't I place this? Huh. You know what? Hold on. Let me pull these out. If I put on this three-way connector here, I'm going to put that on there like that. And then I want to take this one off. Oh God, here comes, here comes some bots. Put that on there like that. Put this on here like that. This one on here. I can't move. I can't, I can't get to the, ah. Okay, let's see. I need more room to build my tech. I made a mistake by building it right here. All right, hold on. Can we just turn? There we go. Give me my wheel back. All right, so there's that. Now the problem with this is it looks really, really flimsy. Like it looks super flimsy here. And I'm not really a fan of that. But if I put on, hold on, if we take these off and I put on these weapon mounts like that, and I put these on here, that makes them more, it's, I, I think it makes them more efficient, but I'm not 100% sure. We need more blocks to fill out this whole area though, is the thing. Um, And then I'd also like, we have these guys which I'd like to put these on as well. All right, change the plans. These are gonna go back here like that. These are just gonna go on here because those are just lasers. And then we're gonna put these on there. Oh, look at us now. Oh, look at us now. But the only problem is, do these require, what do these require? Hopefully they require light ammo. Okay, I, I will be the first one to tell you. Is there a storm coming in? I guess that explains why we have lightning rounds. I'll be the first one to tell you that this is not a very good design because this this is very exposed. Um, I don't know. Is there a way to make cam crafting? Is there a way? Is there a way to just to make um, like regular blocks? Let me see if we have like just a regular. Oh, a block crafter right there. Ten iron and five, five copper refined. Okay, what about supply fabricator? That's ammo. Okay. So then, how? Do, okay, what does it want me to make right now? It wants me to make a light ammo. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some light ammo. Unpowered. Oh, here. Boop. Okay. On. Powered. Toggle on. Okay. Now, will does this... Let's see. Hold on. Take all. Does that mean... Do these use... Does it say what this uses? Reactor load, mass, damage. Activation cost is... Is that... Is that different? I think it's just regular. 46. Yeah. Okay, so that's just light ammo. Okay, cool. Now, craft a refinery at the workbench. So now it's going to be a refinery, so I need to go get some more iron. Okay, let's go ahead and turn power off. So we do have big wheels now, which is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys. All right, so we're going to make a refinery. Now, the refinery is probably going to make the, um, the copper bars that we need in order to make the block thing as well. So let's see, hold on. Can I get out of that? Let's just get in here. We're going to we're gonna have to redo all of this. Oh, these can be anywhere. Those can be anywhere on these platforms. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Oh, you know what? If it's not, if it's not um, attached though. So I bet it's, is it powered? Yeah, okay, so it has to be powered, all right. What does it want me to do? Craft a block crafter at the workbench. Okay, so the craft, the block crafter requires five copper refined. So let's do, uh, I guess we'll do six copper refined. 
and then we'll go in here and we'll make our block crafter yeah i gotta i gotta do some better base building here <laughs> um okay so i'll grab this wait where did, no hold on where did it just go no this isn't what i oh darn it hold on okay that can go there where did um no it won't let me take it out there okay you can just sit right there that's fine now block crafter oh okay so we got small cargo resource laser tractor beam a four by three flat and a basic wheel a small battery a two-way edge connector two-way opposite connector an m18 vendor which is the little teeny tiny guy craft a small cargo block at the block crafter okay so what do i need for a small cargo five iron and five copper we'll get that and we'll go ahead and get those interesting now i'm sure there's probably gonna be some automation associated with this as well uh because there was like automation and belts in the last one but this is already cool i'm already liking this oh my gosh look at the sky oh it looks neat so is the cargo i wonder if the cargo block gives me more cargo storage i mean that that's kind of what it sounds like it would do and then let's get a small cargo oh and it's orange look at that so let's take that oh is it is it big Oh, it is. It's a, it's a big boy. Um, does it wait? Is this supposed to go? This isn't supposed to go out here, is it? Okay. So no space in inventory. Make, please make space. Okay. So what if I just grab it and put it on here? Can I attach it? Well, let's see if I take that off. Take that off. Can I grab this one? Place it on here. Heck yeah. <gasps> oh, it gives us a whole other little small cargo storage deal. That's super cool. I like it. Place that there. All right. Harvest iron. Press control to scan for resources. What? Oh my, there's a thing under there. That's cool. That is super neat. We got so many things to do now. We're gonna go and power that off. Power cut off, uh, use of 60 generation. Okay. This is cool. I am liking this so far. And we haven't even really done that much exploration yet. This is cool. This is very neat. Um, but that is gonna end, end our first look at, uh, at Terratech Worlds. Hopefully you're as excited as I am. Now, like I said, this is the playtest. This is very early um, in the development. This is super early, not even early access yet. So um, please keep in mind that the things that you're seeing here, the things that the, uh, the that's going on are probably not representative of like, you know, final product, obviously. Um, I like the um, I like the landscape. It looks cool. It looks neat. It looks a little empty, but um, like I said, I feel like this probably gonna get populated with some things. And you also don't want it too populated because then it makes it hard to like get around with your techs. And honestly, once you get bigger techs, um, things are going to feel like a lot busier. So, uh, yeah, but very cool. I'm excited for the base building. Like, I actually, I like the actual base platforms and stuff like that that we have now. Uh, because before, it's like, it's kind of like we had just blocks that we, we kind of used. I mean, there were some base blocks where you could not use them on your vehicle, but you could still attach them. Um, and it's nice to see that, like, we have, like, these, like, big flat panels. These are cool. Can you imagine making a tech? I mean, eventually, we might be able to make a tech, like, this big. Because... I mean, if you think about it, like the Geocorp blocks were probably about this big. And like, we we're like in, we we're in like, or was it the Geocorp? Yeah, it was the Geocorp, I think. No, it wasn't. It was the yellow ones. I can't remember what the yellow ones were named. <laughs> but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be picking up Terra Tech Worlds? Also, this is a multiplayer game. Um, I think it says, I, I can't remember how many people it says you can play up with. I, I want to say four. I think I saw the trailer. It had like four people like running around um, doing stuff together. So that is also very neat. Very cool. But yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next one.